Hey friends, so yesterday we learned how to do the three beat weave, or rather, we learned how to do the forwards three beat weave, because it turns out there's another three beat weave going the other way, the reverse three beat. Today, we're gonna learn how to do that. Drex here from DrexFactor.com, keeping you engaged and physically active during the COVID-19 outbreak. And today, we are learning how to take our three beat weaves and turn them inside out so that they're going reverse rather than forwards. Before we dive in, I just wanna give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow Toys, Pyroterra Light Toys, LMF Props, Spinballs, and Ultrapoy for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all these awesome companies and the work that they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I've got down in the description of this video. Okay, so those of you who learned how to do the forwards three beat weave yesterday, you should feel very proud of yourself, but your journey is only halfway done because whenever you learn a trick in Poi, it's probably a good assumption that there's a version of it that is going completely the opposite direction. You know, when we talk about things in uh, wall plane, for example, we always have both the clockwise as well as the counterclockwise direction to consider. And likewise with weaves, the one that we learned yesterday feels to me like it goes forwards. That is, you know, it's, it's kind of a wheel plane move that feels like the wagon wheels are trying to take me off that way. Um, there's another version of this where it feels like the wagon wheels are trying to take me backwards into a parking space, right? So we're gonna use a lot of the same techniques that we learned yesterday in order to make that reverse three beat weave happen, yeah? So first up, just like we did with the forwards three beat weave, we're gonna have to get our basic tic tacs down. Uh, again, I will go ahead and link you to the video that I did a couple weeks ago talking about tic tacs and reels and why they're important and everything. Basically, you wanna get the poi going back and forth across your body in a reverse tic-tac. Reverse means that when it's on bottom, it's going away from you, and when it's on top, it's coming towards you. This is usually the direction that people are less comfortable with because it means that when the poise is coming at you, it's coming at your face. When you're going forwards, if it's coming at you, it's coming at your legs. So like the threshold of where this can go bad is definitely way more on the side of uh, the reverse one being scary. And that's okay because when we learn how to control this, it's gonna feel a lot less scary. So think with your left hand that you're gonna go back and forth in a basic tic Attack and you're gonna do one, two beats on the right, and one on the left. One, two on the right, one on the left. One, two on the right, one on the left. It's the exact same pattern as when we learned the forwards three beat, that there's always two beats on your non-native side and one beat on your native side. Think one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, yeah? You're gonna do the same thing with the right hand. It's gonna go one beat on the right, two beats on the left, one on the right, two on the left, thinking one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And of course, those clever people out there who are noticing that I'm counting off in threes are probably also thinking for a moment, wait a second, is that why we call it the three beat weave? And the answer is yes, that is absolutely why we call it the three beat weave. Uh, each hand gets to have a total of three down beats as you perform this. So. Mystery solved. So just like we did with our forwards weave, we want to imagine that there's a little button on each of our forearms. Uh, say on the underside of my left forearm, there's a little button that when I push it, boom, it turns me to the left. And of course, there's another little button like that on the bottom side of my right forearm. Maybe it's my little mole here. Uh, we push that and boom, I go off to the right. If I push the button on my left forearm, the bottom side, boom, I go to the left. And if I push it on my right forearm, boom, I go to the right. Cool, so let's try that with our hands going around. As we turn our hands around in front of us, I'm going to bring my right arm to my left and boom, I turn to the left. I'm now gonna bring my left arm under my right and boom, it's gonna make me turn to the right. My right goes under my left, boom, I turn to the left. My left hand goes under my right, boom, I turn to my right. Push the button, boom, to the left. Push the button, boom, to the right. Boom, to the left. Boom, to the right, yeah? All right, so let's let out one coil of the poi to see if we can do this with our hands and our poi as extensions of each other. So again, I'm gonna reach my right hand under my left and boom, turn to the left. My left hand under my right, boom, turn to the right. Turn to the left, turn to the right, turn to the left, turn to the right. My poi are extensions of my arms as I'm doing this, yeah? 
And a really important thing I want you to notice as I'm doing this is that every time I make the turn, I'm turning through this space where my arms are crossed about shoulders uh, distance apart, and I'm kind of winding up in this place where they're blocked off for just one second facing the camera, yeah? So I go through that crossed arm place right here, right here, right here. And that crossed arm place is what allows my hand to cross over to the other side of my body, yeah? So left cross, rather, uh, left crosses over to right, right crosses over to left, left crosses to right, right crosses to left, yeah? Cool, and let's let out another coil of the poi, or a half a coil as uh, my particular case may be, and try the same thing. I'm gonna have my right hand go under my left, boom, turn to the left, left goes under the right, boom, turn to the right. I turn to the left, I turn to the right, I turn to the left, I turn to the right. Every single time I'm crossing my hands over each other and I'm hitting that button on my forearm in order to make me turn. And it's that thing that the moment I hit the button, boom, my upper body turns, boom, my upper body turns. You feel that moment of contact and that's what gets you from side to side, yeah? So let's say that we need to take it a little bit slower and not go directly back and forth like this. Well, in this case, what we're gonna do then is the hand that goes underneath is gonna hang out with the poi spinning reverse, basically underneath uh, the other arm's armpit, yeah? Uh, you want to make sure that if it's my right hand doing this, it's past my left shoulder as it's spinning, yeah? You can then take a few minutes to turn around and then bring your left hand underneath. Keep the left hand turning reverse uh, underneath the right uh, armpit and turn steadily towards it. Bring the right hand underneath, keep the right hand poi going. Bring the left hand poi underneath, keep the left hand poi going. Think of doing this as like a superset. So you'll do uh, three beats on each side and then two beats on each side and then just one beat on each side. It looks like this. We do one, two, three, one, two, three, and then one, two, one, two, and then one, 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 one. And once we have it down to one, we are doing the three beat weave in extensions, yeah? And just like before, we wanna work our way down to doing smaller and smaller circles. So rather than doing it from the shoulders, as we have been learning thus far, I want you to take it down to your elbows, like so. And do this for 10 beats, see if you can Keep it relatively stable. Again, the poi are extensions of your hands and forearms and everything. You're still pushing that button. Turn to the left, turn to the right, turn to the left, turn to the right. And then you work your way down to doing this with just your wrists. You're still turning your upper body from side to side as you're doing it, but it becomes that thing that the movement is concentrated in just your hands and wrists, yeah? And just like with the forwards three beat weave, it's entirely possible that a situation is gonna pop up when you bring it down to your hands and wrists where only one hand will want to go under. You need to make sure that both hands get an opportunity to do that. So think right under, left under, right under, left under. If that feels a little unusual, what it means is that one of those hands is a little uncomfortable letting the other one be on top, yeah? So what I would recommend doing is just thinking to yourself that remember that you get in two beats on your non-native side with each hand, yeah? So if you find yourself in this place where I'm only getting in one beat on my non-native side with my right hand, it means I need to hang out there for an extra beat, yeah? So here's an obvious question. Why didn't I teach this move earlier in my series? Well, the reason is that I feel like it kind of creates some bad habits. See, when people really get down the three beat weave, one of those things that happens is they start concentrating all of their movement in their hands and their wrists, and the rest of their arms kind of just do nothing, right? Then when people have to learn how to do things like flowers, all of a sudden, being able to do the petals and the flowers and everything suddenly comes is like new information for their brain and they're trying really, really hard to keep the poi turning all the way around. I wanted to start you all off on the other thing before we got to weaves so that you had a choice in which one you were going to do. Uh, there's nothing wrong with doing the weaves, but I wanted to make sure that first you had that other piece under your belt. Cool, so now let's check that out in slow-mo from a few different perspectives, shall we?
Awesome. So forwards weave, reverse weave. You've got to know that I'm going somewhere with that. And yes, tune in tomorrow to find out how to chain them together to be able to turn with your weaves just like you can with your reels and all timing and directions, yeah? Pretty please help me get the word out. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and make sure that you are sharing these lessons with your flow curious friends so that we have an entire world of new spinners to be able to play with when all of this is over. Please show me your versions of these tricks. If you are following along and you are learning how to spin poi, I wanna see your progress. Uh, please post video and tag me. I am DrexFactor on Instagram and DrexFactorPoi on Facebook. Book. There's nothing that makes me happier than seeing people applying the knowledge that I'm putting out there. So if you are willing to do it, I would really love to see it. Thanks in advance. And of course, if you would like to skip ahead, there's always my Spin Poi Like a Rockstar series over on my website at drexfactor.com. Uh, it's totally free. You just have to give me your email address and you will get lessons regularly sent to your inbox. And each one of those emails includes a link where you can download all the lessons together to watch them at your own pace, yeah? Uh, so go ahead and check that out. There are still a few things that are in that series that I haven't covered here, uh, but if you'd like to jump ahead, that's the best way to do it. And of course, if you you are enjoying this series and if it's teaching you new stuff, please consider supporting me and this project over on Patreon, like all these nice folks did. Uh, Patreon, of course, is a voluntary subscription service where you can sign up to give content creators a pledge every month to help them continue to create their content. And it is literally the only reason why I'm able to do a daily tutorial during the lockdown and everything. So if you have the means, and I understand if you don't, but if you do, please head on over to Patreon patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and sign up. Uh, you get early access to all of my content as well as a vote in what types of content I pursue in the future and what topics of content I pursue in the future. So go check that out, please and thank you. Cool, so tomorrow we are going to put all of our weaves together into waist straps, which is the ability to turn back and forth between our weaves, yeah? So check that out, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.